No matter how fast light travels, it finds the darkness has always got there first. Terry Pratchett. Welcome back to the homestead, y'all. As you can see, our tomato plants are doing great. Um, most of them have reached six foot high already. Uh, we have a few of them, like this one's almost seven foot high. My goal for this year was to get to eight foot tall, grow eight foot tall tomato plants and be full of tomatoes. Well, we've been picking tomatoes like crazy off of these. Um, all 14 plants in this grow are doing wonderful. There's no yellow leaves on them whatsoever. Of course, I've been going around and cutting underneath them. Today, I'm gonna do some more cutting underneath. I like to keep at least the top foot to 18 inches leaf free. That means I cut every leaf off of them. So if I grab the camera in a little bit, I'll take you and show you underneath what I've done. You can see all the way across all these tomato plants underneath because the only thing there is the stalk coming up. I keep everything else cut back. That helps keep the blight and any soil borne funguses or bacteria from starting on the bottom leaves and working their way to the top. Another thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go in and cut a bunch of these big leaves off to help open up the middle a little bit. It helps with finding ripe fruit. Plus it helps with airflow. So that way we don't get bacteria growing on any leaves if we get a rain at night. Um, this time of year in July and August is a bad time of year to get night rains. And then that, those droplets of water sit on the leaves overnight and they'll create a place for bacteria to grow. So I don't want that either. Plus we have a huge heat dome fixing to come in this week to us. Uh, they're, they're forecasting us to be in the 90s here in Tennessee. So I want to take a lot of these leaves off so these plants don't need quite as much water to do well. Now I will water these during that heat. I'll water them first thing in the morning. Tomato plants are one of the few plants that you want to water a little bit along as they go. Uh, most plants you're better off to, to water once a week, give them a good soaking and then let them dry out a little bit and then water them again. But if you do that with tomato plants, a lot of times you'll get um, tomatoes that'll split because they'll have too much water. So you're better off to water them a little bit every other day, every day, every other day or so, than you are to give them a whole lot of water once a week. So that's what I'm gonna try to do during this heat wave that's coming. I'll water them in the morning. I'll start off watering them every other day and see how that does. But these are some huge plants, so they take a lot of water, especially when they're full of tomatoes. It takes a lot of water to produce the fruit that they're producing. So I'm gonna watch them carefully over the next couple of weeks, keep my fingers crossed, hopefully I can take care of them and uh, they'll survive the heat because they're just all growing so well. So I'm gonna go in here today, I'm gonna take a good sharp pair of pruners and all the only thing I'm gonna do is go into the inside of these plants, find some of these big leaves, and I'm just gonna cut them off and put them in the composter. And like I said, I'll open up the inside. They'll take less water and it'll provide more airflow going through the plants. So hopefully we won't get any blight or bacteria growing on the plants. And it'll make it easier to find the right tomatoes to pick them because when they get this big, those tomatoes will hide in there under the leaves. In fact, I can see some tomatoes that I missed this morning when I picked down here on the bottom that, that, are, that are ripe that need to be picked. But I'm gonna go through here, I'm gonna cut all these leaves, I'm gonna cut the suckers off of them, any new suckers that I found, I'm gonna go ahead and cut those off today. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these big leaves off, some of them. I'll leave some of them on there. Of course, we, the plant needs some big leaves on it, but the, the majority of them, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off and put them in the composter. So whenever I get done, I'll grab the camera, I'll take you underneath the plants and I'll show you what it looks like underneath. They're nice and open. Um, and then I'll show you on the insides how I've opened up some of these plants and cut some of these super long leaves off of them to get them out of there. But you know, tomato plants don't need a two and three foot leaf. All right, I've completed cutting all the leaves off from the bottom of the plants on all the plants. 
I still have some more thinning I'd like to do. I'll probably get to that tomorrow. But I'll grab the camera and I'll take you around and I'll show you underneath some of these plants how I've cut all the leaves back um, from the bottom foot of the plant. And you can see how open they are. I still have a few suckers here that I need to cut back that I haven't cut back yet. I do have some cuttings over here. And I wanted to show you this. These are some of the cuttings that I have and they're starting to root. You can see the nice pretty roots on them. So I'll go ahead and get these in some soil, hopefully tomorrow. Get them planted. These will give us more tomato plants all the way through first frost. So every time I go through here, anything that I cut off that I think that I can root, I go ahead and just take a water bottle or anything and put some water in it. I put the cuttings in and I set them down underneath the tomato plants. So I just set them underneath here and right there in the shade and in a few days they'll, they'll be rooted. And then I can start new plants. Like these, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off. These will go into water and they'll start new tomato plants and they'll give us tomatoes all the way to first frost. So let me grab the camera. I'll take you around, show you underneath some of these plants, show you what it looks like and show you how much I cut it back. Okay. Let's just look under a couple of these. You can see this one. This is a good example how much it's been cut back and all these. You can see that one about a foot from the ground. You can see there's my hand is in a comparison. All up underneath these plants, I cut them back. Of course, there's a little chick under here getting bugs. And they can fit through the wire. The big chickens can't. So if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. If you want to grow huge tomato plants like these that are seven foot tall on July 12th, our goal is to reach eight foot. They should reach that no problem this year. Then you need to go watch part one and part two of this series and see how, what we did back in May when we planted these on May 19th and see what we do throughout the year to keep the soil in good health, to keep the mycorrhizal fungi in good health and uh, grow these organically. There's no chemicals put on these tomato plants, no chemical fertilizers and definitely no chemical sprays for bugs. So if you wanna see that, I'll put the link right up here to part one and then I'll put the link also to part two and I'll put both the links in the description where you can see what we did to grow these huge, beautiful tomato plants. Thanks for watching.